of the day, number of the day, which number will it be, number of the day? And look, you can see in the circle, the number of the day is number 19. On our number shape track, can you find the number 19? Can you point at it? Now remember, we've looked at partitioning our numbers into tens and ones. So uh, we need one, ten, and nine ones. So we need a ten and a nine. Can you find it? Can you see it somewhere? Where is it? Here it is. Well done. Fantastic. Now, if I make the number track disappear, we can find out what is the same as 19. There it is. That's what 19 fingers look like. <gasps> wow. There's our number shapes in a different way. The nine is next to the number 10 now. And that's the way we saw on our number track. And there is the word 19. That's how you write it. So we can do uh, what numbers are fewer than 19 by thinking about all the numbers that come on a number track before you get to the number 19. So if you start on zero, and that zero is fewer, and count all the way up to 19, all of those numbers are fewer. I wonder which one you'll pick. I picked the number four. What a fantastic number I picked. What about more than? What numbers are more than 19? You could go for a really big number like 1,000 or a million. But I always like to ask my class to try and remember and um, try and use numbers that they can write down, that they know what they look like. So I picked, oh, wow, can you see on that car? It's the number 53. Wow. I wonder what number you picked for your more than. OK. Let's put 19 in the middle and we can look at one less and one more than. So here's our number track and you can find 19 on the number track. It's near the, the end. Which end, though? I wonder if you can find it. What colour is it? Yes, it's orange. And it's there it is. Well done. Shall I show you that I found it as well? Look, here it is. OK. But if you then do a jump down the number tracks to where one is, where zero would be, where the numbers are smaller, that would give us one less if you do one jump that way. And if you do one jump the other way towards where the numbers will be when they get bigger, that will be your one more than. So I'm going to make the number track disappear. There it is. One less. When you're counting to 19, what number do you say before you get to 19? You say 18. Well done if you found that one. And when you're on 19 and you get one more, let's say you've got 19 chocolates and someone gives you one more, how many would you have then? 19, 20. Well done. OK, let's think about what 19 would look like on our 10 frame. Do you remember that we know what 9 looks like on our 10 frame because it's just one less? than the whole 10 frame being full. So there's nine. So 19 is one less than two 10 frames being full. That's 19. And if you think about the, um, the shapes, the number shapes that we had at the beginning, we had a 10 and a nine, and there they are, a 10 and a nine, just showing them in a slightly different way. If you want, you can make your own 10 frame and you can show a, a, all the numbers that you know. I wonder if you can make two 10 frames and make 19. Right. Our part, part, whole model. Do you remember what goes in the circle at the top? That's the whole. And our number of the day is 19. And there is 19. Remember, with number of the day, we always put 10 as one of our parts. But you could have 12 as one of your parts or um, you could see if you have two as one of your parts what the other one would be and there we go I've moved 10 and how many are going in the other 
circle. 10 is the part, 9 is the part, and 19 is the whole. Well done. 10 add 9 is 19, or 9 plus 10 equals 19. Or if we start with our number of the day, our whole, 19 subtract 10, that would make 9, and 19 take away 9 equals 10. Well done, everyone. Have fun with your numbers.